If you have your SPF and DKIM records properly set, you can also set your DMARC policy. DMARC is used to authenticate email by aligning SPF and DKIM protocols. A DMARC policy tells receiving servers what action to take on unauthenticated messages they get from your domain. To deploy it, we need to create and publish the DMARC records in DNS. In the following Google support article you can find more information on how to define your DMARC policy, for example, what to do with emails that don't pass authentication. Once you define your policy, log into your domain registrar and find the page where you manage DNS for your domain. Add the DNS TXT record. Under hostname enter underscore DMARC. If you are adding DMARC for a subdomain, add the subdomain name. Now add your record value. With this record, we specify that no action should be taken on messages that don't pass the DMARC checks by the receiving server. It is recommended to use this option when you first set up DMARC. Over time, change the receiver policy to quarantine and finally to reject. We use the RUA record tag to specify the email address on which we want to receive DMARC reports. You can add more than one email address, separated with commas. Save changes. Note that it may take some time for changes to propagate. To verify your DMARC record use the Google Admin Toolbox. Select the DIG option. Enter your DMARC record name with your complete domain name. And click TXT. You will find your record published. Learn more about DMARC in the video description, and subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with the latest videos.